Hey guys, I found a really useful setting to help make the combat feel a lot smoother and I wanted to share it with you guys. It really helps out, especially if you're playing a ranged class like the Gunslinger or Sharpshooter or something like that. Open up the pause menu and go to settings down here, over to gameplay on the side, go to controls and display and then scroll down for a bit and you're going to see a setting called cursor aim. This will be on by default and basically what this does is if you're ever using an ability and an enemy is near your cursor it'll automatically lock that ability onto the nearest enemy which sounds like a good thing but really screws up your aim a lot of the time you guys may have noticed this going on and i'll give you an example of what i'm talking about you can see that my cursor is right here but the actual line for my ability is all over the place and is never actually on where my cursor is this is actually how it works for all aimed abilities this is really annoying for long piercing abilities because you really want to aim at the center of a group of mobs so you can take them all out, but instead you're locking on to the left and right enemies and it's throwing your aim off. This is especially annoying if you play other top-down games like League of Legends. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you play other top-down games, then you're probably pretty confident in aiming your mouse at things and using your abilities there, so if you just turn off cursor aim here and then hit apply, you should be good to go. Now, regardless of how many enemies are on screen, wherever I aim my cursor is where my ability is going to go. While I'm here, I figured I might as well show some other useful settings you can turn on. One thing that I really enjoy is the battle effects display setting. You can show which abilities are actually visible to you while you play the game. You can set it to only show your raid members, only show party members, only show your foes if you're playing PvP for example, or you can have it set to only show the buff effects of party members. So say a bard throws down a healing circle, you'll see that ability, but you won't see any of her combat effects or any offensive spells that she's throwing out. This is nice for anyone who's overwhelmed by all the effects and abilities going on on screen at the time. If you play a lot of multiplayer content, then you'll probably get sick of it pretty quickly. And one other setting I wanted to show you guys are the cursor settings. Here you can change the mouse cursor size, anything from normal, large, or largest, which is comically huge. But you can also change the color of your cursor right here. Otherwise, you can actually hold control and then scroll wheel to change the color of your cursor on the fly. That's pretty much everything I wanted to talk to you guys about, so thank you for watching, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.